This is an amplifier for a servo motor. Servo motors typically consist of two driving coils with a common. If we look here, we have our B channel 2, B common, and B1. And here is our other channel for the servo, A2, A common, and A1. We are going to confirm whether or not this amplifier is operating. These are the inputs to run each side. So B1 has a corresponding IC, B2 has a corresponding IC. We would not want to hook up a motor for this test because we are not controlling this amplifier to run a motor. We're simply confirming that it will pass through and amplify an input. So we go over here to B2 and then we're going to trigger it by putting our Huntron across the input to this optical coupler. And when we do, we look over here to the oscilloscope. You can see as we turn it on and off. And on the top, you can also see the diode being triggered on the waveform of the Huntron. So then we go to our next channel. And we come up here and we trigger it and look at the scope as we are turning it on and off. And when we have turned it on, that waveform is certainly acceptable and tells us that this amplifier is properly functioning for that channel. So then we go over to our next channel. And we come up here and we trigger it and look at the scope as we are turning it on and off. And we go to the last channel and we go to the scope and turning it on and off. Now that we have confirmed that the servo amplifier is functioning, we know that the problem lies in the control signal coming from the encoder. We'll let the customer know that the encoder needs to come in for repair so we can get them back up and running. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.